top three world fighters of the year, who am I going with? So first of all, I'm going to go with uh, Canelo Alvarez, number one, as for fight of the year. Big victory over um, Danny Jacobs in May. Totally outboxed uh, Danny Jacobs. Danny Jacobs could barely land a glove on um, Canelo Alvarez. Uh, Danny Jacobs man in the fight. He managed to land one one solid left hook, and that's only the real shot. I, that's the only the real shot I saw. I, uh, uh, Danny Jacobs was able to really land on Canelo Alvarez. Outboxed him uh, for pretty much the whole fight. Won by unanimous decision. And Danny Jacobs is no muppet. The guy can fight. So for Nick Quick for so for Canelo Alvarez to go in there and outbox the guy in the manner that he did. Show that he's got proof again how solid his chin can be. Because that left hook by Danny Jacobs would, would actually knock out the vast majority of Danny Jacobs' typical opponents. And for Canelo Alvarez to take down the chin, solid victory from Canelo Alvarez. And the one that um, tipped it over for me, for him to be number one fight of the year, was the moving up to the lightweight, div light, not, not lightweight, light heavyweight division, sparking out um, Sergei Kovalev. Because I didn't know whether Canelo Alvarez would be able to take the power at light heavyweight. And he, uh, Canelo was able to use his head movement that he's got, use his movement, use all the skills that he's got to be able to outmaneuver Sergey Kovalev. And in the end, not spark him out of a devastating knockout. I think, it was a, I think it was a right hand on the ropes, detonated his chin, sparked him out. And some people say uh, Kovalev's old. So it's like, it's, yeah, yeah, he's older. And he had didn't have much recovery time from the Anthony Yard fight where he nearly did get knocked out. But uh, at the end of the day, it's still um, Sergei Kovalev. Uh, it's like uh, if if uh, Klitschko was still about. And even though he's older, if someone like a Usek moved up to uh, the heavyweight division and knocked out Klitschko. Klitschko would obviously be old, but people still say he's still knocked out Vladimir Klitschko. And Canelo obviously still knocked out Sergei Kovalev. So big victory over Danny Jacobs. Uh, who's a top fighter and moving up to an, a, a higher weight division and knocking out uh, someone who's high regarded, someone who's taken four people like Andre Ward to go in there and just knock him out like that. Uh, I I have to give uh, Canelo Alvarez. Uh, I have to I have to give Canelo Alvarez that that ranking right there, man. Next, who did I put next? I gave the second spot to Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao, 41 years of age, still doing the business. He had a unanimous decision victory over Adrian Broner and this year. He had a uh, split decision victory over Keith Furman. Uh, Keith Furman calls himself one-time Furman, but he couldn't really find the one time to land on uh, Manny Pacquiao. And the guy, is, uh, the, at his age, he's still... Obviously, he's not as quick and as sharp as he was when he was younger, but... To be dispatching of to be outboxing and beating guys like Adrian Broner and Keith Furman at his age, when people like Floyd is retired, he, like I have to give him his props for that. And I was so close to giving him the number one spot for saying that he's world fighter of the year. But for Canelo moving up division to knock out Kovalev, that I think that just what tipped it for me. If Canelo didn't do that, I would have probably given the top spot to Manny Pacquiao. But uh, the guy is a, is a legend in the game, sixty two. He's had a total of 71 fights, or, uh, 71 fights debut 1995, and he's in 2019 he's beating guys like Keith Furman and Adrian Broner. Crazy stuff, man. This guy, this, this guy, this guy is on another level. And people are already talking about him fighting people like Errol Spence. Just shows how durable this guy has been over the years. Obviously, he's been knocked out in the past by people like Juan Marquez, but uh, I would say this guy's done. He's doing stump. He's doing pretty well. And uh, yeah, man, I have to put him in there at number two, the number two spot, uh, just because uh, Canelo Alvarez knocked out Kovalev. I just give, uh, I just have to give that to Canelo Alvarez. But uh, close though, close though. Uh, but that was a big year, top year for Manny Pacquiao. And third spot, I gave it to Errol Spence, man like Spence. Uh, solid victory he had over Mikey Garcia. Absolutely dismantled the guy. Mikey got Mikey Garcia's team actually wanted to stop him because the guy was just getting bashed up basically by the stronger Errol Spence, and he absolutely got outboxed. And he, uh, Errol Spence went on to win a unanimous decision. Sean uh, in the second the second fight his second fight of the year. 
big victory over Sean Porter. Sean Porter brought a war to Errol Spence, I have to admit. Caught Errol Spence with a lot of good shots. Errol Spence rocked him. Can't remember which round it was. Rocked him with a, rocked uh, Sean Porter with a solid left hook. That left hook would have knocked out a vast majority of opponents. Errol Spence usually fights. But uh, yeah, split decision victory over Sean Porter. Errol Spence showed he's he's got a he's got a dog in him in the in the Sean Porter fight. Showed he can be a technical fight as well in the Mikey Garcia fight. Displayed great skills over both fights in 2019. So I'm gonna give the second spot to Errol Spence. And hopefully we can see him back in the ring, maybe taking on, hopefully we, at some point in the future we get to see him fight um, Terence Crawford. And with the way this display that he showed against Sean Porter with the left hook and the skills he showed against Mikey Garcia, I would I, I, I would, I would favour uh, Errol Spence to do quite well in that fight. So, yeah, man. Uh, first place, I have Canelo Alvarez as World Fighter of the Year. F second place, close. Close second place. Maybe I could even put joint first place Manny Pacquiao in in second place. The old man still doing the business, taking care of <laughs> taking out, defeating all these young guys. Adrian Broner, Keith Furman. Keith Furman was actually undefeated before his loss, so he put he gave Keith Furman his first L at the age of forty one. Uh, did Manny Pacquiao third place? The truth, Errol Spence, delivery, uh, beating Sean Porter and Mikey Garcia, man. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me hear from you guys. Who do you think is the one, two, three, first, second place, third place fighters of the year 2019? Drop your comments in the comment section below, guys. Let me hear from you guys. Cool.